All right, so we've got um, question three. The number of cells in a culture is given by this equation. C is equal to P times 2, 0 0.5 T plus Q. Now notice this is an important point where T is the time in hours measured from 12 on Monday and P and Q are constants. Then we, we told here that the number of cells of culture at 12 is equal to 47 and the number of cultures at 1600 hours is equal to 53. Um, use the above information to write down two equations P and Q. Okay, so uh, we're looking for two equations P and Q. We've got those that information. So taking this information first, this one over here, and this equation, can we use information from there, putting it into there to get an equation? So the C is 47, the number of cells is 47 is equal to. Now, we don't know what P is, alright, so we're going to have P. What is T at 12? Because it says where T is, an, is the time in hours measured from 12. It's from 12. So this is actually going to be 2 to the 0. So it's going to be 2 to the 0. All right, because 0 0.5 times 0 is 0 plus Q. Now what's 2 to the 0? 1. So I can just basically take that out there, can't I? So I've got one equation. And then the second one over here, calculate the, sorry, the, the second uh, bit of information here. Now we're going to use this information to get our second one. All right, so here we've got this. Now we're at 1,600 hours. The number of cells is 53 is equal to P. Uh, we're going to have two. How many hours have gone by? There's four hours, eh? Because... We've gone to 1600, so it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So this is going to be T, it's going to be 0 0.5 times 4 plus Q. What's 0 0.5 times 4? 0 0.5 times 4, half times 4, 2, 2. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Alright, so it's going to be 2 to the 2. 2 to the 2 is 4. So we can have this as 4P. Alright, now we've got two equations, two unknowns. How are we going to solve this? Yes. Okay, you can do simultaneous equations. Now, there's two different ways of doing this. There's your way where you can substitute or you can subtract. Probably the subtracting is, is probably easier. If I just subtract from this equation, I subtract this one. So, if I just say take this whole one and I subtract it, I'm going to get 47 minus 53, which is minus 6, is equal to P minus uh, 4P, 3P, and the Q minus the Q is 0, and this will be minus 3P. So P is going to be minus 6 divided by minus 3 is going to be 2. All right, so I've got 2. And then putting it back in here. All right, I'm going to put it back in there. I could use either one of these equations. So this becomes 2. 47 is equal to 2 plus what? It must be 45, here. Huh? 45 plus 2 is equal to 47. So we have got for P and Q, P is equal to 2, Q is equal to 45 for that. Okay. Um, so we've actually done, oops, I've actually done both of this. A, the answer to A is actually this over here. This is the answer to A, our two equations. And then the answer to B is this P is equal to 2, Q is equal to 45. And then find the number of cells uh, in the culture at 2200 hours on Monday. Well, 
we would just substitute that in because now we're going to have C is equal to 2 2 0 0.5 T plus 45 that's our new equation isn't it now just be careful here I notice this a lot um, with doing this when you've got this you don't multiply the 2 times the 2 first you've got to do this part first and then multiply the power takes uh, precedence now how much is your how much is your t going to be how many hours have gone past at 2200 hours 10 hours all right you're looking at 10 o'clock so it's going to be to the 10 plus 45 so you're going to have 2 times 2 to the 5 plus 45 you can do that on your calculator 2 to the 5 is 32 times by 2 is 64 plus 45 is 107 64 32 yes 109 sorry 109 I think so yeah, yeah. okay it is pretty straightforward yeah yeah there's no reason why you're not getting you can't get an, an A for this stuff but you've got to know your basic definitions you've got to know your basic uh, uh, basic um, uh, methods um, and I think if we spend a little bit more time these next two weeks really working on this get this all thing it will be really great I really want you to be getting full marks for all this stuff all right very similar sort of question you often get these coming up same thing uh, if you can know the basics you you shouldn't have a problem all right so I think now uh, we can do this quite quickly the period time for one complete uh, also uh, one complete cycle so you can just draw in one complete cycle that's up to there huh? 120 after that it starts repeating itself so that's 120 degrees the amplitude is from the middle of the graph to the maximum point there all right so that's going to be for this one two and then the values of a and b so a is the is the amplitude so we can straight away say that's two b remember a uh, period is equal to 360 divided by b so it's going to be 120 is equal to 360 divided by b b must equal to be 3 360 divided by Two, yeah. Okay, I'll check it. Yeah. Um. Oh, the, sorry. The amplitude. Yeah, it should be minus two because you're starting at the. You're starting at the um at the negative two there. Um, it will be negative two. Sorry, the a will be negative two. Um, and your this one over here will be two. I get yeah and the B is going to equal 3 okay is it really okay then all right straightforward all right going on to question 5 Alright, so we've got this one over here. We've got a quadratic curve with the equation AX X minus B is shown in the following uh, diagram. The X intercepts are 0, 0. So this is 0, 0 here. And this is 0, 6. I mean, 6, 0. So this is 6. And the vertex has got. The vertex is always the, that middle point over there, the very top point. It's always the vertex. Um, the vertex is always on, lies on the axis of symmetry. 
axis of symmetry. All right. So we have this is H and 8. There. Find the value of H. All right. So because it lies on the axis of symmetry, the H is the X value. This would be this point over here where it crosses exactly halfway. So this from here to here is 6. So this must be 3 and 3. And because you're starting at 0, this also must be 3. So your H value must be 3. That must be 3 and 8. Okay, Christina? Okay. And the equation uh, of the curve. Now, a little bit more complicated, but not, not, too, um, not too difficult. Um, you basically got to do um, simultaneous equations for this because we want to find what A and B is. Now, there's different ways you could do this. Um, you can use your axis of symmetry formula. I'm going to do it this way. There's different ways of doing it. Remember for the axis of symmetry, I'm going to call it the AOS, you've got the formula X is equal to minus B over 2A. Uh, uh, all right, so that's going to be 3 is equal to minus B over 2A. So therefore, um, minus B is equal to 6A. All right, or B is equal to minus 6A. So I've got one equation there. And then I can take any other point. I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take this point over here, the 6 and 0... And I'm going to put it into this equation. I'm going to have another equation. So I'm going to have y, which is 0. So I'm going to put it into that equation. So 0 is equal to a times x. Now x is 6. a times 6. And you're going to get 6 minus b. So if I multiply this out, I'm going to get 36a um, minus... Um, minus 6ab, like that, okay, um, and then from that I can um, substitute my b into this equation, it's all equal to 0, uh, I can substitute my b, so I'm going to get 0 is equal to 36a minus 6a, and instead of writing B, I'm going to write this over here. There's minus 6A. So minus 6A. Like that. Let me just uh, remove some of this stuff over here so that I've got more space to work. So, so I've got here then, I've got 0 is equal to 36A and I'm going to get plus 36a squared, like that. All right. So then I can I can f uh, simplify this down. I can uh, divide the whole equation through by 36, and I get zero is equal to a plus um, a plus a squared. And then I can factorize this, and I'm going to get a a plus one. So a could equal to be 0 or a can equal to be negative 1. Remember, because this must either be 0, this must either be 0 or this must either be 0. Now, this a is equal to 0 will just cancel out this whole thing. So that won't work. But a is equal to negative 1 will work. So you would use this one would be your correct solution. So you're going to get a is equal to negative 1. And because we said b was equal to uh, minus 6a, we're going to get b is equal to minus 6 times minus 1. And that will equal to be 6. So your, your a is equal to negative 1, your b is equal to 6. Therefore, your equation, if I put it into here, my equation is y is equal to a. A is negative 1, 